You're watching WECT, first at four. Welcome back. Shag dancing got its start along our coast. It's a part of the culture of the Carolinas. And in 1989, one WECT reporter hit the dance floor to find out what shag was all about. That's today's Throwback Thursday. It's called the shag, and more people are learning how to do it. No one knows just where it started, but shagging has been going on in these parts for a long time. A lot of folks say that it started in South Carolina, and then some people say North Carolina. Um, I think it sort of stems back as far as the Lindy, uh, the Jitterbug, the Bop, but it's just a more disciplined, a lot smoother today than it was back in the old days. And as the shag gets older, its popularity seems to be growing. Here at the Odyssey Club, these folks are part of a large group taking lessons to learn the shag and some line dances like this one calls The Boss. They each have their own reasons for coming. A friend of mine invited me out and said, you know, this is a good thing, nice way to meet people, and kind of insisted I come out, and, and once I have, she was right. It's, it's been a lot of fun. What uh, got you interested in it? Because my husband knew how and I did. I was tired of sitting by myself at parties. <laughs> Now you can't get her off the dance floor. You may be wondering how tough it is to learn the shag. Well, most here say it all comes with practice. And as with most activities, the pros always make it look like a piece of cake. Paul Moniz, WECT News Center.